Today I'm going to show you how you can animate the moving car including the wheel spinning. But before we continue we need to find the vector graphics and I usually find those on freepick.com and I found those three cars which I like. But we need to separate background and logo, the middle car and isolate wheel and save it as PNG. Now I use Illustrator for that but if you don't have it you can use Photopea instead to isolate the parts. But as usual, you can download my files from the link in the description. Let us jump into CapCut. I've already imported my files and first we're gonna drag down the background. Then the car. Let us shrink it a little. And then the wheel. Make it smaller so it fits the car. Now we came to a point where we have to animate the wheel with wheel spinning. But if we want to rotate the wheel, you see what happens? The wheel just doesn't stay where it should. And that is because it is not in the center of the PNG file. That is why we have to go back to Photopea, open the file, go up to Image and click on Canva Size. We need to make a square. So write 1000 and 1000 pixels and click OK. Then drag it to the center and save it as PNG. Import it to CapCut, delete the previous one and drag down the new one which we just saved it from Photopea. Then copy this wheel and reposition it on the rear part of the car. Move your playhead to one and a half second mark, highlight both wheels and car and drag all together to the place where you want to stop the car in animation. Then highlight each part separately and click keyframe on transform. Highlight the front wheel, go to rotate and turn it 5 times clockwise which is 1768 degrees. Highlight the real wheel, Type the same value as the first wheel, which is 1768 degrees. Highlight all three again. Move playhead to the beginning and drag everything to the left side out of the screen. Highlight the first wheel and at the rotation box write 0 degrees and repeat the same for the second wheel. For now we have this animation. If we play it one more time, you will see that the movement is not natural. The car drives the same speed and stops suddenly. Let us fix that, so we get smooth and natural movement. Highlight the first wheel, right click and choose show keyframe animations. Click on rotate, highlight keyframe, go to graphs and select cubic out animation. Repeat the same for the second wheel. Then highlight the car, right click, show keyframe animation. Here we need to apply cubic out animation on Y and X position because we moved the car left and probably we also moved it up and down a little. So choose Y, highlight keyframe, go on graphs and choose cubic out animation. Repeat it for X position. Now I see that we also have to do the same for the wheels on Y and X position because we also move them from the right side to the left. So let's apply cubic out animation for the wheels on Y and X position. If we play this now you will see a big difference. When you're done, you can create a compound clip. And if you want to go even step forward, you can add some sound effects. Go to audio and search for car drive by and car braking. And at the end, you should get something like this. 
If you like my work, it means a lot to me if you hit that like button and subscribe. Thank you and see you in the next one.